The first Jewish delis were German Jewish delis. They were the counterpart to establishments that sold pork products. The new Jewish migration, Russian and Eastern and Central European Jews that began to arrive in the U.S. in the 1880s and 1890s were culturally really quite distinct from their German co-religionists. They did not speak German, they spoke Yiddish. They did not live in cities, these were shtetl Jews. And when they arrived in New York, they essentially discovered the delicatessen. This was not a food institution which, with which they were familiar. Deli Man is a new documentary that sounds delicious, and it actually is. This is the story of the Jewish kosher delicatessen, how it came to America, how it prospered, why it survives today. It survives in part because there are third-generation deli people, people whose grandfathers founded the business, who are still in love with it, still want to be in it. Key among these is Ziggy Gruber, one of the proprietors of Kenny and Ziggy's New York Delicatessen, which is not in New York, but in Houston, Texas. You see how he got into the business. You see why he stays there. Like, like my, my mother used to call him the displaced sperm, that he came out in the wrong generation because he sounded like he got off the boat in the Le Lower East Side at the turn of the century, and that was it. My grandparents spoke Yiddish. They were Yiddish. My grandfather was from Hungary. My grandmother was from Chernovitz, Romania. I saw my grandparents every day, and they started speaking Yiddish, and I joined in. And my grandfather says, this is, this is my kind. This is my child. I liked speaking the old language because I felt I was kind of in this club. And you know how people have all these contemporary friends. My contemporary friends were like, you know, 70, 60, 80. And you see the lure of this kind of business. You also hear a lot of funny stories. You hear about the corned beef Confucius. You hear about Henny Youngman, who used to go into the Carnegie Deli and say, I want a table near a waiter. Always good advice. It's just a lot of fun to experience, and it'll definitely make you hungry. For the Los Angeles Times, this is Kenneth Turan.